I'm Kelly Hurley, Director of Community Programs here at CareLink. In 2021, CareLink was awarded a prestigious grant funded by the Administration for Community Living to provide comprehensive dementia care for caregivers and people living with dementia throughout the state of Rhode Island. CareLink is providing two evidence-based programs to caregivers and people living with dementia. Those evidence-based programs include cognitive stimulation therapy, which is group therapy provided by our skilled clinicians, which works on memory and recall, communication, and is evidence to slow the progression of dementia in the early stages. We are also doing Skills to Care, which is a evidence-based program that works directly with the caregiver as well as the person living with dementia on managing behaviors, improving communication, and allowing both the caregiver and the patient to live as functionally independent as possible. When I first met her, she was very uh, worldly. She traveled a lot. Uh, she has a cabin out in Minnesota with her brother, and she would drive by herself cross country to go out to the cabin. Big deal. Take three days. <laughs> and then drive back. And always drove me crazy while it was <laughs> happening. But, uh, you know, she skied, she drove up and back and forth to New Hampshire all by herself. And uh, so she was pretty independent. And uh, she started to tell me that uh, she was having uh, issues with remembering people's names and things like that. And I said, well, you know, everybody has that, it's no big deal. She says, no, I think this is a problem. And a friend of hers encouraged her to get involved in some of the uh, dementia, Alzheimer's studies and see if, you know, they could, you know, give some help. Oh, it's a horrible something to hear. I sure didn't want to believe it. But I had to kind of look in the mirror and say, you're not what you used to be. You're not rem remembering the way you can do. You used to know all this stuff and you can't even think about it now and so uh it, still not accepting it but can't say that uh, but at least we, as he said we kind of have learned how to work with it and deal with it and and i think we're doing pretty well she wasn't really getting any relief from any of the stuff that they were doing and uh she was getting very exasperated, you know, with the whole process. And she was noticing you know, increasing difficulty in remembering things and uh, being able to manage things on her own, driving and find remembering places and different things like that. So uh, we questioned Brittany and said, you know, is this it? Is this the best you can do? You know, is there anything else that, uh, you know, can help her? And she said, well, really, uh, the only thing we have is uh, a group called CareLink that provides a whole different social aspect to helping you and managing your day-to-day uh, -day issues and, and that sort of thing. The landscape of comprehensive dementia care in Rhode Island right now is sort of like if you imagine a desert scene from an old western movie and then there's a an oasis in the desert. So the desert is the state, there's just not much going on, and then the oasis is CareLink's ACL-supported comprehensive dementia care program. If we're gonna develop a program to improve the lives of people with dementia and their care partners, we need to have realistic expectations about what our program is going to do for people. If we want to gain buy-in from the entities that pay for health care and manage health care, we need to be very clear about what value we're offering. So when we use an evidence-based program, and CareLink has incorporated two evidence-based programs into their approach, one is cognitive stimulation therapy and the other is skills to care, when we incorporate those programs, we can be fairly clear about what kind of value we're going to provide to, to the people receiving the, the care and to their care partners. Skills to care in particular helps the care partner learn how to relate productively 
uh, with the person living with dementia, especially around concerns they may have about uh, hygiene and grooming and keeping a, keeping a healthy routine going uh, or managing challenging behaviors or distressed behaviors. So she came uh, first time and uh, met and we talked about, you know, all the issues that uh, were going on in our lives as far as managing a person that's in early stage dementia. And uh, so we... And not happy about it, I'll say. <laughs> My name is Brett Broombaugh. I'm an occupational therapist with the CareLink um, ADPI grant. I um, work primarily with the Skills to Care program. Um, and I've been with CareLink for uh, about a year and a half. Um, and previously I've worked in different OT settings for 20, maybe 24 years or so. Um, and I have to say this is the most fulfilling job I've had as an occupational therapist um, in terms of the work that I get to do every day and working with um, people that are living with dementia and their caregivers. Um, it's a really unique program and um, I think what drew me to the position was um, the opportunity to work with people in, um, in a different way than in a traditional um, rehab setting. It really is, um, gives us the opportunity to, to work with people um, and work with caregivers and to talk to people about what their goals are um, and to really guide people through, um, through the process of caregiving. So just by her brainstorming with us made us think about you know what issues we were having, uh, what kind of things we thought you know could help. She would interject, interject ideas and uh, you know it really worked out very has worked out really well. Um, so you know we we think uh, CareLink has been a you know very good uh, introduction into our situation of learning to live and manage uh, dementia uh, you know over time and obviously it's not something that goes away. I was working with a, a family this week and um, the spouse, the caregiver said it's like landing in a foreign country and not knowing the language. And I think that feeling of um, uncertainty and fear and, um, and just not knowing what to expect is something we experience commonly. And this program really gives us the chance to work with people to build skills and to build confidence um, and to support the caregivers through that process. You know, our experience with CareLink has been phenomenal. It is. Um, it's really changed our lives and as far as going forward and man managing uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. And, uh, you know, we don't know what we would do not having this uh, service to come and help really? us out. So. It really is. It would be horrible, I'm sure. <laughs> It's a very collaborative process of brainstorming and problem solving. And I think through that process, um, caregivers really um, build the confidence to know that they can manage the day-to-day -day caregiving. And so even though the disease may change, um, they have developed strategies and skills that they can carry with them as they go through the process. My name is Tom Baer. I'm a geriatric medicine physician and I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Brown University at, in the division of geriatrics and palliative medicine. CareLink has a great team and it's, it's great at every level. Everything from the, from the uh, organization's leadership uh, all the way to uh, the therapy assistants and, and everyone in between. They're clearly driven by a passion to improve healthcare for people in Rhode Island, especially for people with functional impairment uh, of any type, including uh, dementia and other types of cognitive impairment in the case of the um, program we're talking about here. Really getting the chance to um, establish relationships with people in their homes and to learn about what their, um, what's meaningful to them, what will make a difference to them has been um, has been incredibly rewarding. I am um, really looking forward to and excited about um, the future of this program and to see what this program can bring to 
um, the community in Rhode Island. The generous grant funding from the Administration for Community Living is set to end in August of 2024. We plan to continue to expand on our comprehensive dementia care throughout Rhode Island with the opening of CareLink's Center for Brain Health and Cognition. 